2024 biggest EU major of the year. And I always say, man, if you're going to come over to EU for one event, make sure it's UFA. Yep. It has to be. It has been fantastic. Every year that I've gone, this is the fourth, fourth year that I've been. I went 2019, 2022, 23, and now, of course, only 24. There you yeah, go. Just every time it delivers. No doubt, no doubt. The team here, of course, you know, they, they're all, at the end of the day, the team that run this event, they are fighting gamers themselves. So yes. they know what the players want. They know what the viewers want. And we're going to get it right here. So here we go. It's time to get things underway with the other half of our winners' semi-finals here. Winner of this set will go to the winners' finals and play against Zane. And it's like you said, Viren, will it be an all-American showdown or will the French have a chance to make it into that winners' final? Let's see. Right, underway already. The pressure coming out from Skill already, forcing Koji Koko to the corner. Koji Koko, I think, is a player that really thrives off of long set. He's able to make those really, really good player-to-player -player adaptations. Oh my goodness, look at that. Skill finds a hit, but no huge damage off of that. Yeah, now Koji Koko working his way out the corner. Big PP coming out from Skill, though. Okay, breaking out here. And Skill likes the pressure from this range where the opponent can't really BC safely, you know? Like, it's gonna whiff for that range. But, oh my goodness, there's that ultimate fireball you were talking about, Viren. This is huge. Yeah. The side switch combo new to this patch. Once again, why he needed that is a mystery to me, but he got it, and it <laughs> makes him all the scarier. Oh, nice dodge there. It's going to be a large amount of meter wasted for skill. Koji Koko going to work right here. Yep, going to optimize that combo. Go straight into the SBA. Yeah. Train that BP from skill. Only one on the side of skill now. Tough situation. Yeah, this is looking rough for sure. Okay, nice save jump there, but oh my goodness, Skill finds a way out. And yeah, next hit will do it, actually. Yeah, but you saw the 2U, oh, that is what nice. he desperately wanted, but that is punishable if you don't cancel it. Minus 10 on block, and that 9 frame far heavier Bilal closing it out. Great stuff, great stuff. Okay, oh wow, there we go. That dash button, dash L, always gonna work. Nice tag there. Big jump out the corner as well. Okay, spot dodging early, preemptively almost. Oh, wow, the patience right there from Koji Koko, waiting for the L follow up of all moves. Big counter on the close heavy as well. Yeah, that's huge. So much damage. Counter hit close heavy, or goes for a reset there. Bust out with the ultimate, and that is not going to work out. Koji Koko seals the deal, taking the first game here. Yeah, just incredibly controlled, incredibly disciplined on the offense right there. And I think that is when Bilal is at his absolute scariest. When, you know, it's so tempting to just kind of go bulls to the wall with that offense, having the abundance of plus frames that he has. But choosing those moments to disengage, especially when you know your opponent is going to try to challenge, is what makes it truly scary. Absolutely. You know, a character like that, that can just, it just has so many options at his disposal. Okay. All right, we're straight back in here. Skill, no character switch here. We'll stick with the Siegfried. All right, let's go. This is serious time right now. Koji Koko not really even breaking much of a sweat in that first match, if I'm honest. Yeah, he's just very, very on point with the defense, on point with the offense. It's everything kind of lined up beautifully for Koji Koko. There we go. Trying to wow. continue that thing with punishing the far heavy with the far medium right there. That's like a, a flex, actually. Like, you're letting him know early, but you're ready with the reactions. Yep. <laughs> oh, bust out here from skill. Do you know what? I like that. You know, just because it was baited a, a, a couple of times doesn't mean you shouldn't use it ever. Yep. Yeah, it's important to keep introducing those options. Less people get too comfortable. Go straight for the M Asmodeus. Koji looking so confident right now. Hey, there's that fight. Oh, wow, Skill catches the approach there from Koji. Of course, Skill, no slouch on the spacing himself. Mm, absolutely. Look at this, and Siegfried is the character to space with. Look at these normals. Yeah, huge. Nice. Whiffs the jab to get the throw as well. Nice 2M challenge. Plus frames on the 2 on 4 you. Oh, my word, Skill. That was godlike. Huge with punish right there, gets the KO even without the cinematic. More than enough damage. Absolutely. 
Yeah, Siegfried, he do be hitting hard. And there's that heavy fireball there. Yeah, and that giving the knockdown as well, that's something it didn't do before. Getting that knockdown just allows skill to gain a load of momentum right here. Got a safe uh, power up as well. And now, Koji Koko, that side spot once again. Oh, oh go to the 5 you. That was definitely not what he wanted. Most likely wanted an ultimate skill sure. or a 2U maybe, but... Accidentally got the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the speech. Yeah. You know? Daddy, give me some sugar, but not today. <laughs> oh, Love you punish again, but... Oh my goodness, look at this. Just Coach. these, these six excels into the walk back to make those normally gigantic 2M width is just so, so clean from Goji Koko right now. That's dead, right? Yeah. It should be, yep. Even with the high health of Siegfried, not enough to keep him safe there. Yep, two bravery points lost, so it will be an extra little piece of damage. Koji Koko on the verge. Making it a 2-0, but skill. Let's see if he has something to say about that. Oh, my word. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Busting out. This time it's Koji Koko that finds the mark with that DP. Oh, that's a very hit. big close. The 2M counter hit, yeah. That's going to do a lot of damage. Might even cash out into Super. Yes, he's just going to build it here. Oh, goes for... Okay, that's definitely not what he wanted. Wow. Having a couple of mistakes up here. Okay, oh, trying to stop this buffer pass. Never mind, skill. Brother, that was so clean. Koji Koko gets the hit. I don't know if this is dead, though. No, not yet. Once again, that high health big three is going to keep him alive here, but one more opening is all Koji Koko is going to need to close out this game. See? Oh, of course, still plus a block, though. The dodge. Oh. Big 6 l Yep, confirms it. The break, though. Skill. Chip could become a factor very soon. Yeah, this is tough. There's a particular pace that Skill has to play at if he wants to get this KO. And Koji Koko found that that was not the pace and got the second game. There we go, man. These French uh, crowd members need to come alive if they want Skill to turn this around because it is not looking good for the hometown hero. Not at all. Sounds like we may be getting a switch. No, it's still on the still on the main uh, rematch screen. I wonder if we're going to see a potential character switch. Sorry, God's character select. Is he going to do it? Oh, yes, he, he is. is locking in the Sores. Locking in. Let's go. All right. Change of pace when it comes to the offense from Sores, but is it going to be enough? You know, you've now gone from a character that did have a meet to this DP to one that doesn't have one, one that struggles significantly more on defense. Let's see. Let's see now. Skill. Going with Sori is a character that definitely excels when he's in and he's brawling up in your face. But let's see if Koji Koko is even going to let him do that. You know, like, are you going to be able to get that and close that gap? Mm. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Oh, well, look at this now. Koji Koko is firing up. Oh, that's a huge close heavy. Gonna wow. link into the 6 l get all that corner carry. Yeah, crouching as well. Combo extensions for days. Look at that. Knocked down. So much damage. So much resource. Okay. A big challenge right there from the uh, skill. And using the impact knuckles. Ooh, okay. It's gonna get a good reward here, but let's see. Essentially guessing for the game. Gets a throw. Yeah, once Soros has momentum, he can really do a lot with it. Big jump back. Ooh, gonna okay. be to avoid the, the uh, chip damage. Yeah, had to, had to. Nice Yo. reaction to the impact knuckles. Beautiful. Able to react to the uh, to the H one as well. That one's pretty fast. This now, essentially, let's got the hit. Okay. Yeah, created that kind of frame trap situation. The H impact knuckles are minus, they're only like minus three, but when you throw out that big five frame 623H afterwards, that can beat a lot of things. All right, look at this. These safe specials. Just throwing them out there. Bust out, though, from Koji. Yeah, needs the UDP. That was a safe jab, a safe meaty right there from Skill. Okay, there's the break on the grab. There's the UDP. Oh, right back at ya. Yeah, Koji desperate to maintain this corner position. Doesn't actually get the side switch there. Oh, good patience Ooh. from Skill. That was very, very good. 
Choosing right. just the perfect time to challenge. That's right, and he's been doing, doing that so well. Okay, it's the fireball combo now. Knockdown time, Koji. Both players sitting on enough meter now to potentially kill off with the next hit. Oh, and my there word. is the next hit. Skill getting a game on the board with the Sorris. Okay, there you go. The surprise switch paying off here, at least in the first match. But now it's down to Koji Koko to adapt. And if there is one thing that this kid can do, it is definitely adapt. Beautiful neutral jump already at the start. Mm -hmm. Nice chunk of corner carry, nice chunk of damage. Oh my goodness, skills interrupts have been so good. Well, gonna extend as far as possible. Lovely, using the jump to kind of frame kill, make that an auto time setup. So gets all that corner carry. Yeah, and there's that pressure. Again, skill finds the hit. Everything working out for him. Oh yeah, my goodness, though, look at that. A lot of these kind of subtle inter interactions. There's just so much push and pull, so much back and forth in this game so far. I would be surprised if Skill was able to just kind of respond, get that big opening. Try to bait something out there, but Skill not biting. Or oh, gets the uh, punish with the far light, but nothing beyond that. And there's the SSBA. All right, there we go. We're getting installed. Oh my word. So scary right now. There's the clash. Yo! And both spot dodging at the same time, knowing they were out of throw range. Beautiful stuff. Oh, oh runs up. That is, that is command grab, but no. no. He back dashes to avoid it. Oh. Chip is such an issue right now. Yeah. Okay, next hit. Yeah. Yeah, very, very wise. The Koji Koko right there going for the US Modius. If you spot dodge it, you know, he's plus. Uh, if you block it, of course, the chip KO was coming, and of course, the hit right there was enough to get the KO. But let's go. This is skill here going to work. Koji Koko, of course, set point now. Oh my oh, goodness. What? Huge punish right there. Gets the anti air with the 2H. Oh. Probably could have extended that even further. Yeah, that must be like a character specific punish, maybe. Okay, skill now. It's the finest, but Koji Koko has just been looking so solid in the neutral. Oh, wow. big far heavy. Yeah, that's a huge opener there for Koji Koko. Throw as well. Safe jump. Oh. Big with punish, but goes for the M. Uh, Impact Knuckles not going to get the capitalization. All right, skill is just one touch away, but as is Koji Koko, perhaps. Look at this. Oh, my word. Both player not wanting to overcommit right now. Oh, oh, and there's the whiff punish, the whiff punish that's going to get the game and the set for Koji Koko. Doesn't even need the cinematic for the SBA. Koji Koko moving on to winner's finals. And you go, and it will be an all-American winner's finals here at UFA. Zane will play against Koji Koko in that part of the tournament there. That was a very exciting set, and the stories, I'm telling you, man, that something was, was happening there. Yep. I don't know what it was, but... All of Skill's hits were just finding